Gentlemen, what's happening? So, I decided to make this video because I'm going to start making the switch from TikTok to YouTube. I'm still going to be grinding like every day on TikTok, but YouTube's going to be like the main platform where I post all my stuff now. So, I just wanted to make this video so before I start this YouTube journey, I can tell you guys a bit about myself. So, love you. Alright, so on the YouTube, I'm not really going to be putting out many skits or anything like that because I've always looked up to like Danny Duncan, Belle and Levine, Nalk, all those guys, right? And I've always loved their content style because it's so personalized. And then you guys can form a personal connection with me and I can learn more about you guys as well because skits, I'm playing characters, right? But in this, it's really like you develop a connection with the people you're making videos for and that's what I always wanted to do. So videos are something that I've been making for a long time, since I was probably about five or six. wanted to make videos and put stuff on YouTube and TikTok in the past. But if I'm going to be honest, like I'll be completely honest, I had a fear of being judged. Like I was afraid of what people would think of me. And I know everybody goes through that, not just in putting yourself online and stuff, like just in every, like just in day-to-day -day life in general, like people have fears of what other people will think of them. And it's completely normal. It's a new normal human behavior. The reason I started making videos was that over the past year, I really just stopped giving a fuck. Like, I, I just stopped caring about what other people think. And you just, I, I feel unbelievable after that. Like, I almost feel like liberated because I realized something. And I know it sounds cliche, but we only get one life. And I realized that why would I want to live my life differently to how I want to live it just because I'm afraid of what someone else thinks? And I think to myself, like, what is the world? Because we all just live on these norms that our parents have passed down to us and that our grandparents passed down to our parents and so on and so on and so on and it's like you have to go to school you have to go to university and that's like the normal way it's just a set of rules that have been put together and the people who have been caught in that societal realm just have those closed minds and they don't see the bigger picture and the bigger picture is that we can do whatever the fuck we want because we'll put on this world for freedom but it's society that fucking traps us in this little box I really know what I want in life. Like, I want to make videos for you guys. Videos that excite you and that put a smile on your face. And I look up to all my idols, like the people I look up to and the people that motivate me. And I hope that one person in this world could maybe look up to me. And that's what I hope. So I can be a good influence so that I can help you guys and just maybe inspire at least one person on this earth. That is what I want to do. And that is why I love making videos. And that's why I want it to be so personal. And like, I want to connect with my audience and just connect with all of you guys. Because I tell you right now, if anything crazy was to happen or if I was to blow up or something like that, anybody who approaches me on the street, I will never ignore anybody. Like, I will say hello to you. I will stay there until you have to go home. I will talk to you about anything. Come up and talk to me about UFC. Talk to me about Joe Rogan experience. Talk to me about the fucking tortoise in the hair. Just talk to me about anything. And like, it, it, it would be the best feeling in the world, man. And if anything were to happen, and like, like I said before, if anything were to happen and this thing goes, like, I, I would still be the same person. I promised myself from day one of making TikToks, like I would be the same person through and through, never changing. I'd still shit up. I'd still probably do shit that I regret. I'd still mess things up and probably fucking end up getting in trouble. I'd still fucking be irritating to my friends and family. And I, I'd just still be max. Like, that's what I want to be. I want to stay consistent all the way through. And if I'm going to be honest, like, I'll say it right now. I don't know if I should be saying it or not, but I'm not motivated by money. Like, I really don't care about money. It's never been a factor. All I want to do is drive in a fucking van. We get the two seats at the front of the van, right? Fence it. Get the grading, we set out a f***ing pimp station at the back of the van, we drive across the country, and we pick motherfuckers up. Tell me that isn't hectic. Tell me that isn't the craziest idea of all time. Exactly, because it is. So when I look at where I want to be in the future, like, I know where I want to go. I want to go to America. Because I've grown up watching, like, Nelk, Danny Duncan. I started watching Bell and Levine, Jadeon, all those guys. And they're the guys I love and I look up to, right? And that's the content I, I love. Like, I love that sort of stuff. And if I'm going to be honest, I love Australia. 
but America is where it's at. And if you want to really, really get that crazy fucking footage, America is where it's at. So the plan now, I love Australia and I'll be here for a while. But the plan now is just to grind on YouTube and hopefully in the next two years, we take off to the States. So I don't know what's going to come now. I don't know if anybody will ever come back to this video or what's going to happen. I have no idea, man. I'm just thinking and I have no idea. So thank you if you got to the end of this video. I fucking love you, man. Thank you for the support. Like it honestly means the world to me. I'm going to be grinding on YouTube and TikTok from now on. And yeah. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.